Hey everybody, it's Moonbo here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, we are going to be making some sawdust and checking out this awesome lumber mill. So, the whole process is going to start with this piece of lumber right here. As you can see, it has all of the bark, it has a whole bunch of branches sticking out as well, but then we of course have the wood right there in the middle, and the final product is going to actually look like this. It finishes with two boards of wood that you can transport away with a truck. Now, I am going to start this video off with just a simple montage of every single step in this lumber mill so you guys can get an appreciation and a great view of everything that is going on. I'm going to get a whole bunch of different camera angles and stuff like that and there's going to be no commentary during that part of the video so you guys can just enjoy the satisfying lumber mill at work. But then we're going to come back and I will give some commentary and we will walk through each process and press the switches and get it all going so you guys can understand what is happening here and of course guys this is not going to be on the steam workshop but there will be a link in the description for the world download if you do want to try this lumber mill out for yourself so i'm going to get everything set up we are going to go through the montage i hope you guys really do enjoy this lumber mill and i'll see you guys on the other side So now that we've seen the lumber mill up close and the satisfying process of start to finish of turning this log into two perfectly milled boards, we are now going to go through a detailed look. I'm going to show you guys how each step works and also talk about some of the issues that I've had and some of the workarounds that I had to do. Now, before we actually do start, I did want to mention that I have gotten comments in the past saying, Moombo, you haven't done any big builds, anything substantial in such a long time. So I do want to apologize. That is why I decided to make this big lumber mill. It has taken me the better part of the week. So guys, if you do want to see bigger builds like this, then definitely leave a like on the video and leave a comment down below as well as to what you want to see in the future with regards to something a little more big and complicated like this. But now it is time to mill this log, so the first thing that we are going to do is put it on the lift, of course, and I have this little section right here. This is where you can drop it down just like that in between those two little concrete barriers there. And then this automated crane arm is just going to continuously grab at logs, whether or not they are there. Uh, so of course it's going to drop down just like so, and then it's going to grab either side of the log. 
I decided to keep this process kind of slower, just because it maybe if you had a friend and they were feeding logs into the machine, uh, you wouldn't want the logs to be getting in there too fast, because then you can't really keep up with them. Alright, so here we go. The log is going around. You can see it's extremely heavy. The entire log is made out of concrete, so the crane arm gets pulled over pretty good. Alright, so there it goes. It's going to drop it right there. Now I'm going to quickly hop inside here so we can get a good angle on this getting chopped up. Look at this. This is so satisfying. Alright, so the two sides of the log are now getting trimmed down from the bark to the wood inside. Ah, there we go. Look at this. So this is kind of cool, actually. You can see these are motorized, but then I have a section here of non-motorized wheels, actually. So what's going to happen is these wheels right here are going to push the log all the way up to the dead wheel here. And then this one right here is not quite enough to hook onto it just yet. But you have to be quick because otherwise the log will eventually get pulled away. So we're going to drop down our little pincer section right here. Now this is probably my favorite part of the build. So as you can see, we have... One of the spikes from the sharp the sharp stuff mod gets jammed right in there with a block. And then on this side here, there is also a spike with a uh, block here. Now, sometimes they don't go all the way in, so you have to kind of pull it in and push it back out again. And hopefully that put it in. There we go, it did. And that's actually one of the reasons why I did the montage at the beginning, was because sometimes you do have issues. The consistency isn't always there. All right, so what we're going to do now, though, is lift it up and hoist it over the next process of this mill. So we're going to turn the blade on, and here we go, guys. This is now going to trim the bottom and the top of the log. So here you can see it's some saw blades on pistons that are going to slowly retract in. I had a lot of issues with this part of the build. It took me quite some time to, uh, to actually get it to work. Uh, not 100% consistently, but good enough that I could do it comfortably. But as you can see, it does a great job of removing the last bits of bark without touching the actual log. The log is perfectly intact right now, which is perfect for the next step of the process. And there we go. The, uh, the rest of the log has been trimmed off, so usually I'll just kind of reset this right here and then hoist the log. I mean, I guess it's not even a log anymore. Now it's pretty much a milled piece of wood. This is just one giant piece of wood, but we want to use it in a more practical sense. So of course we are going to trim it in half. So now we're just going to remove the uh, the pincers just like so. And like I said, see, there you go. You just saw it finish that 180 there. That is probably my favorite part of the build is actually using the spikes to jam in on the ends there and pick it up and move it and then drop it down without welding anything whatsoever. All right, so we're going to remove the spikes. Sometimes you just got to give it a little shake there and then pick the whole thing up and drop it off. And now the other wheel, the way it works, I don't, it just, it's like magic. The other wheel will pick it up now and pull it away automatically. You don't even have to do anything. And then everything is already on right here. I usually just leave this stuff on. Uh, but now this is the conveyor belt that is going to bring the milled log all the way up to the next portion here, which is actually where it gets cut in half. And I have a nice little viewing window here so you can see it. Uh, so it's just basically going to get fed through those saw blades there. And if we take a step outside here on the little balcony, we can see the final step of the process is the log getting sawed completely in half. Now, you can see I've got some issues with the uh, the final process here of dropping off the uh, the logs or the milled wood into a logging truck. Uh, so I, I'm going to probably work on this a little bit more at some point, uh, but I think it's good enough. You know, I mean, we could try and hop into the truck here, drive away. Look at this. We got two perfectly milled boards. Oh, wow, look. It actually stayed in the truck. I, I meant to do that. Yeah. Uh, but there you go. So that is the two finished boards. Now, obviously, you can do that again and again and again until you have a whole bunch of chopped wood. Or, I mean, you could just put some blocks on the lift and put it in that shape already. But what's the fun in that? And now, quickly, I'm just going to go over some of the problems that I had and things that I did to resolve them. And now, the biggest one was this build originally was a lag monster. Even I was getting like 10 FPS, sometimes even less during some of the process of the build. Now what I ended up doing was I actually ended up removing a lot of the conveyor belt. So if you, if I can jump right through here, you can see I have a whole bunch of gaps in between the wheels. Now prior to this recording, I actually had wheels in between all of those gaps as well. And 
it goes all the way inside here too actually you can see there's gaps here and going all the way up to the second level here you can see there's even more so the reason why I did that was because it was actually the reason why the entire build was lagging so much. So I ended up getting rid of a whole bunch of wheels, and now it is totally lag-free. And that actually makes the uh, the saw blades way more consistent, because if you're starting to lose frames, then the game starts missing calculations, it seems like. And so a lot of the saw blades weren't actually cutting anything, which is really unfortunate. And now, of course, the problem with this one was trying to get it to consistently grab now... Even now, it still sometimes has the issue there, but it seems like it did the perfect job the first time around this time here. You can see the block is in on this end, and the block is in there. Now, one thing I did do to try and remedy that a little bit was I put a guide wheel right here on this side, and another guide wheel right there. So that just guaranteed that it stayed where it had to. And that's one thing I had to do, actually, was center the entire thing from one end to the other. And it was kind of funny, actually, because the log itself is only three wide, and here you can see I ended up using wheels, the big wheels, because it was going to cause less lag, less wheels, is actually an even width. So it was kind of funny. I couldn't center anything off the conveyor belt. I had to center everything up off of the uh, the rafters right there, which was kind of funny. All right, so I mean, I might as well finish logging or milling this log right here. So we're going to pull that over, turn that on. Now, issue here. This was a huge problem. So as you can see, I have the blades running Pretty much in reverse. Now, they are spinning in the right direction, but they're being pulled across in this way. Now, I don't know why, but if I had the blades start on this end and push out, it would actually miss a lot of the bark and leave it all patchy-like, uh, which was kind of weird. Uh, sometimes it would work on one side, sometimes it wouldn't, but I found that if I actually started in this direction and went the other way, it was way more consistent. And I mean, even here, look, you can see as an example, I have to get rid of that one manually. Uh, and a big problem too is sometimes the pistons will glitch out and they will bounce really low for some reason. And then those saw blades there take a massive chunk out of the log, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but usually it's pretty good with minimal issues. So we're just going to bring that back down onto the conveyor belt, reverse that, remove the pincers there just like that. All right, perfect. So now it's going to go back up. This is kind of fun, actually. It's just another run. Uh, so here, this is where a huge lag issue was, and getting rid of the wheels here was probably the biggest saving factor. Oh, man. I do find this build absolutely satisfying, though. And then I did add a whole bunch of guide wheels here, just like this, you can see. Uh, but it's kind of fun to ride the log when it goes through the, uh, the saw blades right here. This is a nice close-up view of the entire thing. And look, you can even see every now and then spuds are getting launched and uh, hitting elsewhere on the build. Uh, but it's not much of an issue because realistically uh, everything runs down that same center line. So sometimes a spud will get shot down the line, uh, but typically it's not too much of an issue. It'll stay in that center spot. But you can see this one here has a little chip in the board. Uh, the other one looks just fine. So I mean, I think that's kind of realistic in a way. I don't think... Uh, in real life, the manufacturing process of a lot of this stuff is 100% perfect. You always get jams and issues and stuff like that, just like this. So this is maybe even better for it. So that's going to be everything for today, guys. If you did enjoy the video or this awesome lumber mill, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you guys want to tune in for more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then subscribe to the channel. Maybe even turn on notifications by clicking that bell, and you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will be seeing you in the next one. So bye for now. You didn't think I would leave you without an explosion, did you?